she install my design. Hi there! My name is Cybergirl and I'm a fashion designer and YouTube 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 <laughs> YouTuber who makes content on uh hard to fashion and just colorful rainbow stuff. Basically what happened is she installed one of my designs and yeah it's like a huge bummer because uh i worked really hard on that design and honestly like i'm not the first person that this has happened to so i kind of wanted to make this video just so that people are aware of this happening when i posted about this happening on like my instagram and twitter some people were not shocked because like i said this has happened a bunch of times honestly i've seen this happen like probably once a week but this could honestly be happening pretty much every day because she and releases new stuff a bunch of new stuff like every single day but yeah just so people have more awareness about the brands that they are giving their money to and so people can make more informed decisions and more informed purchases and yeah. For those who've never heard of Shein, it is one of the largest online only retailers in the world. They sell a lot of like very trendy items, clothing for very, very low prices. Shein has been around for a very long time. I think I read somewhere that they've been around for like 12 years, but Shein didn't start out as Shein. They used to be called Shein Inside. And I remember back then when blogs were really popular i would see people have like an advertisement for she inside and whenever you would go there you know Shein has always been known to make like knockoff sort of stuff and sell it at a lower price point it's a very controversial brand because of a lot of its very like shady i don't know if i would say shady but they're not very open about their practices and the environmental impact of what they do because like i said they release new stuff a bunch of new stuff every day it's wild but yeah like last night i was kind of having an all-nighter working on my new collection for my brand candy trap stressing out about all the little details and my wrist started hurting because i was just like non-stop drawing and then the next day i went on instagram and my friend sent me a dm saying that hey you should see this and i just my heart it just sank ah it is really disheartening as an artist we put our heart and soul into making our art and i was literally while i was working on my collection last night i was thinking about how happy i felt making art and just feeling like so present because lately i haven't been feeling so well i've been doom scrolling a lot and just yeah really bad social media addiction <laughs> but making my art has helped immensely with that and just kind of focusing on it the fact that that happened like literally because i just took an hour nap and then i wake up and i see this and yeah i just i didn't know how to react i kind of just stared at it and it sucks because i don't know if i can actually even do anything because looking at the two designs you can see that they intentionally went out of their way to make a bunch of changes so that it's not an exact copy and so if someone were to say anything about it they can't really sue them i guess i don't know i i really don't know the laws about all of this because i know that with like copyright laws and things there have to be certain differences but you can see the similarities between both of them you know obviously the frog face but they change the frog face they remove the rainbow hearts and then you can see like the frog in the flower and the frog the red frog that's on the rainbow the rainbow background and all the little like pieces floating around and all the different kinds of frogs just like looking at it i was like thinking back on how long it took me to think of the design for each frog and to sketch it out and to draw it out and then to put it all together to make the dress but it really sucks it's happened so many times to so many people i know it happened to happy pills club in control clothing my friend ocean ocean in space so i told her that i saw like something that kind of reminded me of her design on instagram and she told me that they 
put together two of her designs to make something else and then they knocked off another one of her shirts but you can see they like changed things i feel like at, the, at this point they've knocked off so many things that they they know they're like okay well if they were to legally do something they can't really do anything i think i don't know can't can't they do something because they make all these changes but like you can see that it's literally based off that design there's also kawaii amai acdc rag not just once like so many different designs from acdc rag basically if you look up stolen she in art she in stolen art you will see so many examples from a bunch of different artists designers and to be the artist that this happened to is really not a great feeling at all but it's really tough because with shein it's really affordable and they have a really good plus size range they have like so many different styles that people are into the weird thing though is they do artist collabs i think they have this thing called shein x where they have designers and artists make art for their brand but then i don't get it like why do you have this but then also steal art from artists and designers you could just pay these artists for their work and not take their art and make money off of it on the other hand there are a bunch of cons like i've said there's a lot of stolen art a lot of environmental concerns another thing because of that low price point people are saying that it reflects their exploitative labor practices yeah right now i'm unsure of what to do literally right before this they had sent me a dm and the weird thing is that i didn't even like tag them on the instagram and twitter posts that i made like calling them out on this but they reached out to me in my instagram dms and they're saying like thank you for a message we have taken down the product from our site pending an investigation if you have any questions or concerns contact us at legal at shein.com the funny thing is they took down the shirt but my design they put it on a bunch of different items so that's not the only thing that has the designs on it and those are all still up there but they did take down the shirt which i'm, I'm glad about but i just don't want this happening to anyone else but it's like what can we do and i don't know what to do either so that's why i want to talk about it and let people know about it so we can figure something out. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I guess I feel a lot more encouraged now because I've always felt kind of like insecure, not so confident about my art, but this has definitely encouraged me to continue working on my art, continue making fun, colorful, happy stuff to make people happy. But I really appreciate everyone who reached out to me about this and let me know because I wouldn't have known otherwise y'all didn't tell me so thank you and i really thought about like buying the shirt just to kind of compare to the original design but honestly i would rather not give them any of my time or my money so <sighs> but yeah this is a really weird situation this has never happened to me before so i wanted to just make like a quick video about it but if anyone has any advice about this and perhaps like how artists can protect their work so that this won't happen to them, thank you for listening to me kind of just talk about my feelings for a little bit. Hopefully the next video will be a lot more happier. So take care, stay hydrated, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! -bye.